Hi, and welcome to the second episode of the Novation Ultranova Synthesizer video series. In the first video, I went through just an overview of the synthesizer, my thoughts on it. If you haven't watched that, the link is in the description below. Um, but today, I'm going to take you through some of the sounds that are in this synthesizer. And all of the sounds that you're hearing are stock sounds. I've not customized any of them. I'm just going to go through the different categories of sounds, play some of them for you. I have a damper pedal hooked up. I have the synthesizer hooked up via USB. It's actually being powered by the USB, going directly to my laptop where I'm running traction. And I have my microphone hooked into the audio interface of this synthesizer in channel one, and I have that going through the USB as well. So all of the sound that you're hearing is direct uh, from the synthesizer, no effects, no additional processing. This is direct from the board as if you plugged headphones in the back and we're playing it that way. So let's jump in here. I'm going to start with patch browse, which gives me the ability to look through the different sounds um, based off of the category. So I'm going to start in arpeggio, which is the first one that comes up. And we have one here called pin code. I like this one. It's a very um, nice little arpeggiated sound. And then we can also tweak the sounds using the pitch bend, um, which for this sound doesn't do a lot, but this modulation wheel here allows us to kind of morph the sound. If you listen here, gives us some different tones of this sound. And we can also use the animate feature of the synthesizer, which then enables these touch knobs up top to control different dynamics of the sounds. So listen as I go through the different knobs and how they manipulate the sound. All right, so that's kind of some ways you can um, tweak these sounds live and really change and, and morph them to the, the what you want to hear. Now we can also go in and we can latch this arpeggio so we can just It'll hold whatever notes we play and then we can manipulate the sound here. We can bring the filter down, bring the filter back up. All right, so that is one of the arpeggiated sounds. Let's just go take a look at a couple more here. We have careful MW. We have Sand Pit. Let's go take a look at a couple of other ones here. We have Stupid Sequence. We've got Tribal Path. If I use this with my damper pedal, then I can hold the note. And again, we can use the touch knobs across the top. So some really cool ways to manipulate sounds. Let's jump into another category. This one is bell. We have a few different bell sounds here. Some of them have some filters built into them. Let's jump in and take a look at a couple more. Uh, let's see. Let's jump into the classic category. Now we can go in here and we have, um, what, the gator? We have Notchworks. And 
let's go in and take a look at a couple of other ones here. And then at any time we could go in and we could actually add an arpeggiated sequence to this. This is classic combo. And we can go in and we can set a whole bunch of different um, arpeggiation sequences to this um, to give it the sound we want. Uh, let's go in and take a look at the drums. We have a few different ones here. Amazon Natives. Some snares. Other snares here. Some kicks. And some of these are really nice to add in. Um, maybe you have, you know, some sound effects like that that you can add into your songs and your mix here and there. Now let's take a look at some of the keyboard sounds. We've got some, here's an Arc Rhodes. We can use these octave shift buttons here to quickly shift between octaves. And let's take a look at a couple of the other keyboard sounds in here. We have some accordion type sounds. And we even have this where we can actually add a little distortion in. So if we pop this down an octave. Let's take a look at some other sounds here. We have some lead sounds, so we'll go in and try out some leads. Take a look at another one here. Firefly Pluck. Does have aftertouch. sounds here. Stadium Square. MM Soft Lead. Feel the Pulse. Let's go in here and try to come in on the Happy Raver. Uh, let's take Diving Beating JF. Take a look at some other categories here. We have movement. Now these are some nice sounds that actually have some good movement to them. You can go in and play with those sounds. Take a look at another one here. There's a wave bass. We can use the filter here to adjust our filter. I'm going to try another one here. 
Cyborg Program. We have a stretched pad. Nice possibilities with that one there. Let's go in and take a look at a maybe one more fragmented space. Go and we'll take a look at Polly. Scuba. Soft Affair And let's check out Toothpick. And we have sound effects. The breakdown. And let's check out Arctic Bass. Get a nice wind sound in there. Triple drop QB. Excuse me, OB. And we have Epic Intro. Jet stream. So some nice little sound effects. Cyber whale. Super compute. And then we have strings. These are more of analog type. They're not as realistic as you'd get on uh, maybe a workstation keyboard, but um, that's really not the purpose of this. This is a synthesizer, so they're more synthesizer geared strings. String shot. Breakdown pad. Guitar feed JF. And there are some vocoder presets in here. I'm not going to go through the vocoder ones um, just because I don't have that hooked up here. You'd hook a mic into here. Comes with a gooseneck. Um, that'll be a separate episode to cover the vocoder. And then we also have, last but not least, we have bass sounds. So we can go in here. That's Dub Butler. And we can even use the touch on these as well. If we go into here and choose that same one again. Uh, let's go take a couple more bass destruction. J 
Jazz Badass. And Nasty Boy. <laughs> One more a bit crush bass. All right, so that is a, a variety of the sounds that are in this synthesizer. I really jumped around a lot. Um, said the names of some of them. I hope that you're able to um, go and experiment with this synthesizer yourself. Go check out the sounds. There's um, hundreds of sounds in here. I only covered uh, very few of them. Uh, lots of different categories. And, you know, just go have fun. Go to a music store. Try the synthesizer out. There'll be a link uh, to purchase it below. Uh, if you liked this video, hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos. I'll be doing more in this series. Vocoder, the audio interface, some features like that, and going into a little bit more detail on those. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.